What is phototransistor and its application? A phototransistor is a type of transistor that is sensitive to light. It functions similarly to a regular transistor but with an additional feature, its ability to detect and respond to light intensity. Here's a detailed breakdown. Structure of a phototransistor A phototransistor is essentially a regular transistor that is designed to be sensitive to light. Its structure is similar to a regular bipolar junction transistor, BJT, but with modifications to allow light to reach the sensitive region. Here's a detailed look at the structure. 1. Semiconductor Material Silicon the most common material used in phototransistors due to its good photosensitivity and semiconductor properties. 2. Layers and regions. Collector. See the region where the majority of charge carriers are collected. It is usually the larger area to allow more light to be absorbed. Base. B. This is the central region that is exposed to light. In a phototransistor, the base region is designed to be thin and sensitive to light photons. Emitter. E the region from which charge carriers are emitted. It is typically heavily doped to facilitate the easy flow of carriers. 3. Light-sensitive area. Transparent window or lens. The phototransistor has a transparent window or lens above the base region to allow light to enter. This window is often made of materials like glass or clear plastic. 4. Encapsulation. Package. The entire phototransistor is encapsulated in a package that protects the internal components. The package is often designed to be transparent or have a transparent portion to allow light to reach the base region. 5. Terminals. Collector terminal. See the terminal connected to the collector region. Emitter terminal. E the terminal connected to the emitter region. Base terminal. Be in some phototransistors. The base terminal may be exposed for external connections, but in many cases, it is not externally accessible because the base current is generated internally by the light. Key points. Light sensitivity. The base region is exposed to light, which controls the phototransistor's operation. Amplification. The small current generated by light in the base region is amplified by the transistor action, resulting in a larger current flow from the collector to the emitter. Encapsulation. The packaging ensures that the phototransistor is protected while allowing light to reach the sensitive area. Conclusion. The structure of a phototransistor is designed to maximize its sensitivity to light while maintaining the functionality of a regular transistor. The transparent window, or lens, and the arrangement of the semiconductor regions allow it to effectively convert light into an electrical signal. Operation of a phototransistor. The operation of a phototransistor revolves around the conversion of light into an electrical signal, leveraging the properties of a transistor and the photoelectric effect. Here's a detailed explanation of how it works. 1. Photon Absorption Incident Light When light, comprising photons, strikes the base region of the phototransistor, the photons are absorbed by the semiconductor material, usually silicon. Generation of electron hole pairs The energy from the absorbed photons excites electrons, creating electron hole pairs in the base region. This is similar to the photoelectric effect. 2. Generation of Base Current Photogenerated current. The electron hole pairs generate a small base current. In a phototransistor, this current is generated internally by the light, unlike in a regular transistor where the base current is supplied externally. Flow of charge carriers. The excited electrons are attracted to the positively charged base terminal, while the holes are attracted to the negatively charged base terminal. This movement constitutes the base current, I underscore B. 3. Amplification of current. Transistor action. The small base current controls a much larger current flowing from the collector to the emitter due to the transistor's amplifying properties. Collector current, I understand the collector current is typically much larger than the base current, usually by a factor called the current gain, beta or H underscore phi. This means a small change in base current results in a large change in collector current. 4. Output signal. Proportional relationship. The output current flowing from the collector to the emitter is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident light. The more intense the light, the more electron hole pairs are generated, and the larger the output current. Current flow. The amplified current flows through the collector emitter path, producing an output signal that can be measured and used in various applications. Detailed steps. Light exposure. Light enters through the transparent window or lens and strikes the base region. 
Electron hole pair generation. The energy from the light generates electron hole pairs in the base region. Base current. The movement of these charge carriers, electrons and holes, creates a small base current. Amplification. This base current controls a much larger current from the collector to the emitter, amplifying the signal. Output current. The collector emitter current, I underscore C, is the amplified output, which is proportional to the intensity of the incident light. Example. Light sensor circuit. When a phototransistor is used in a light sensor circuit, it operates as follows. Low light conditions. In the absence of light or low light conditions, the base current is minimal or zero, resulting in a very low collector current. High light conditions. When exposed to light, the base current increases, causing a significant increase in the collector current. This change in current can be detected and used to trigger other components in the circuit, such as turning on a light or sounding an alarm. Key characteristics. Sensitivity. Phototransistors are more sensitive to light compared to photodiodes because of the current amplification. Current gain. The amount of current amplification depends on the current gain, beta, of the transistor. Response time. Phototransistors are generally slower than photodiodes due to the additional processes of carrier generation and amplification. Conclusion. The operation of a phototransistor is a process of converting light into an electrical signal through the generation and amplification of current. This makes phototransistors ideal for applications requiring high sensitivity to light and the ability to amplify weak light signals into significant electrical outputs. Phototransistors come in various types, each suited for different applications based on their design and operational characteristics. Here are the main types of phototransistors. 1. NPN phototransistors. Structure. Comprises an N-type emitter, a P-type base, and an N-type collector. Operation. When exposed to light, electron hole pairs are generated in the base region. The electrons move to the collector, and holes move to the base, increasing the collector current. Applications. Commonly used in general light sensing applications, optoisolators, and optical switches. 2. PNP phototransistors. Structure. Comprises a P type emitter, an N type base, and a P type collector. Operation. Similar to NPN phototransistors, but the majority carriers are holes. When light strikes, electron hole pairs are generated, with holes moving to the collector and electrons moving to the base. Applications Less common than NPN phototransistors, used in specific applications where the circuit design favors PNP configurations. 3. Photodarlingtons Structure Consists of two transistors in a Darlington configuration, where the emitter of the first transistor is connected to the base of the second transistor. Operation provides a higher current gain compared to a single phototransistor. The first transistor amplifies the light-induced base current, and the second transistor further amplifies this current. Applications used in applications requiring very high sensitivity and amplification, such as in light meters and optocouplers. 4. Shocky phototransistors. Structure incorporates a shocky barrier, a metal semiconductor junction, in the phototransistor design. Operation. The shocky barrier reduces the response time, making the phototransistor faster. Applications. Used in high-speed applications like optical communication and fast switching circuits. 5. Avalanche phototransistors. Structure. Operates in the avalanche breakdown region, where a high reverse bias voltage is applied. Operation. When light hits the base region, it generates electron hole pairs that trigger an avalanche multiplication effect, greatly amplifying the current. Applications Used in applications requiring very high sensitivity and gain, such as in scientific instruments and low light detection systems. 6. Planar phototransistors. Structure Designed with a flat, planar structure, where the light sensitive region is spread out over a flat surface. Operation provides a large area for light collection, improving sensitivity. Applications used in applications where uniform light detection over a large area is required, such as in image sensors and flat panel displays. 7. Plastic Encapsulated Phototransistors Structure Encapsulated in a plastic package with a transparent window or lens. Operation The plastic encapsulation provides durability 
and protects the phototransistor while allowing light to reach the sensitive region. Applications Commonly used in consumer electronics, industrial sensors, and environmental monitoring devices. Key considerations Spectral response Different phototransistors are designed to be sensitive to different parts of the light spectrum, e.g., visible light, infrared. Response time. Some types of phototransistors, like Schottky and Avalanche types, offer faster response times compared to standard types. Current gain. The gain of the phototransistor, beta or H underscore FE, affects its sensitivity and output current. Conclusion. The various types of phototransistors offer a range of features to suit different applications, from general light sensing to high-speed and high-sensitivity detection. Understanding the specific characteristics of each type helps in selecting the right phototransistor for a given application. Phototransistors are versatile devices used in a wide range of applications due to their sensitivity to light and ability to convert light into electrical signals. Here are some common applications. 1. Optocouplers, optoisolators. Purpose. To isolate different parts of a circuit electrically while allowing signal transmission via light. Function. A phototransistor detects light emitted by an LED on the other side of the isolator, converting it back into an electrical signal. Applications. Used in power supplies, microcontrollers, and communication systems to provide isolation and prevent electrical noise from affecting sensitive components. 2. Light meters. Purpose, to measure the intensity of light. Function, phototransistors convert light intensity into an electrical signal proportional to the amount of light detected. Applications, used in cameras for exposure control, in scientific instruments for measuring light levels, and in environmental monitoring systems. 3. Optical switches. Purpose, to detect the presence or absence of an object or to count items. Function, Phototransistors act as sensors that trigger a response when an object interrupts or reflects a light beam. Applications Commonly used in manufacturing for conveyor belt monitoring, automated sorting systems, and position sensing. 4. Infrared receivers Purpose To receive and decode infrared signals. Function Phototransistors detect infrared light signals from remote controls and other IR transmitters. Applications used in remote control systems for TVs, air conditioners, and other household appliances, as well as in data communication between devices. 5. Smoke detectors. Purpose. To detect the presence of smoke particles in the air. Function. Phototransistors sense changes in light intensity caused by smoke particles scattering light. Applications. Widely used in residential, commercial, and industrial smoke detection systems. Six. Position sensors. Purpose. To determine the position of an object. Function. Phototransistors detect the light reflected or interrupted by an object, providing positional feedback. Applications. Used in robotics, automotive systems for seat position detection, and industrial machinery for precise control. 7. Security systems. Purpose. To detect motion or unauthorized entry. Function. Phototransistors sense changes in light levels or detect infrared signals to trigger alarms. Applications used in motion detectors, burglar alarms, and perimeter security systems. 8. Counting systems. Purpose. To count objects as they pass a certain point. Function. Phototransistors detect interruptions in a light beam caused by objects passing through. Applications used in packaging and manufacturing lines, ticket counters, and inventory management systems. 9. Barcode scanners. Purpose. To read barcodes for product identification and data entry. Function. Phototransistors detect the reflected light from the barcode and convert it into electrical signals representing the barcode pattern. Applications. Used in retail for checkout systems, inventory management, and logistics. 10. Automatic lighting controls. Purpose to control lighting based on ambient light levels. Function. Phototransistors measure the ambient light and turn lights on or off accordingly. Applications. Used in street lighting, outdoor lighting, and energy-saving lighting systems in buildings. 11. Medical devices. Purpose. To monitor physiological signals. Function. Phototransistors detect changes in light absorption due to blood flow or other physiological changes. Applications used in pulse oximeters, 
heart rate monitors, and other non-invasive medical monitoring devices. Conclusion Phototransistors are integral to many modern electronic systems due to their ability to accurately and efficiently detect and respond to light. Their applications span across consumer electronics, industrial automation, medical devices, security systems, and more, highlighting their versatility and importance in various fields.